Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make your own color corrections and later on I might make this into a series and I will show you every single effect you can use for color correcting and what they do and how to apply them the right way and later I might also show you some magical look stuff what those effects do. I won't show you like any settings you can copy down now because that's the wrong way to learn editing. Um, I won't give you anything, any color correction to download now. If you want to do that, then go to my color correction pack, it's in the top right. But if you really want to know how to color correct, because that's one of the most important things with editing, then yeah, watch this tutorial. Um, I al already have some color correction tutorials on my channel, but in this tutorial I might make this into a series and I will explain everything in depth. I will show you every single tool, what the effects uh, effects do, how to apply them the right way and later I will show you the magical looks, I will show you how, what every effect does and yeah. Um, yeah but in this tutorial I will just show you the basics of color correcting and we won't need any plugins for this and this will apply for every editing software you have like Sony Vegas, Premiere, After Effects, whatever. So, um, yeah, before we start, I would like to yeah check out my color question pack if you haven't already. It's in the top right, just click on it. Uh, and also, um, check out my all tutorials playlist because I keep getting requests for stuff I already made. And yeah, that's annoying. And I don't think everyone here has watched all my tutorials. So, Okay, let's start this. Um, in After Effects, you should always apply your color corrections to an adjustment layer. You don't have to, but it's easier. So, just add an adjustment layer. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. Or Control, Alt, Y. And now, in this tutorial, I will show you the best tool for color correcting and the e easiest. Not the easiest, but if you know how to use it properly, it's the fastest. So, uh, it's color curves or curves. You have this in Vegas, After Effects, every editing software. So, what you can see here is this simple line, and by default it has selected RGB, that stands for red, green, and blue. So th those are the three main colors. Um, if you, <coughs> for example, drag this down, um, all the darker parts of your video get darker. And if you drag this up, the brighter parts of your video get brighter. So. Um, so that's just to add some contrast to your video. So like for example, if I would drag this up, all the shadows and the darker parts would get brighter. And if I would drag this down, all the brighter parts like the sky um, would get darker, but you don't want that. So, um, and now let's, so if you want to add some basic contrast, just drag this down a little and this up a bit, a little. So, now these three main colors. Th that's what you are going to use for color correcting, for changing the colors and stuff. So if I go, for example, to red, and drag this down, and all the shadow and darker parts, th the the red will get removed, and there will be less red. So if I drag this down, this is like blue greenish. But if I go to green and also drag this down, it's all a bit like bluish. So um, if you want a bluish look, that will be perfect for you. But now some more stuff. Um, so if you maybe want some blue in the shadows and the darker parts, then you have to drag this up because you want to boost that color in the shadows. If you want to boost that color in the brighter parts, you drag this up so that there is more blue in the brighter parts of your clip. So, okay, now this map is a bit greenish. So we might go to the green and because it's all in dark parts, you could maybe go there and remove a bit of the green but add it back in the um, brighter parts because you might want that. But now it's like a bit uh, red and warm. You might want that, so let's see, before and after. That's already a pretty nice color correction. But if you want to go um, and maybe have some more red in the, um, yeah, in the brighter parts, just drag this up. But if you don't want that much red and maybe more blue greenish look in the shadows, you drag this down in the shadows. So basically you have to know if you mix uh, green and red um, which color that makes and if you mix all these colors like let's go to uh, default again. So as you can see if I drag down green it's all purple because red and blue are purple and if I drag down uh, red it's all bluish green so 
yeah, that's basically it. Um, so if you, um, there are bits, a few color correction methods everyone is using. So the main part just boosts the blue bits. No, first of all, you add some contrast, and then you can add some blue, maybe, maybe bring it down in the brighter parts. You can bring the red parts up a bit in the brighter parts, a bit down in the darker parts. Then green down a bit and here up a bit. So that will be maybe color correction. So you see just a few clicks and I have this color correction. So and if you don't want it that uh, purple, you go to red again and drag this down. So yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Um, later on, I um, if you want me to continue, then yeah, give it a like, and I will show you some more stuff, maybe levels, what you can do with that, and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, check out my tutorials playlist. Check out my color question pack, and please give this video a like. And yeah, that would be awesome. Stay active, guys. So. Um, <coughs> Oh yeah, another thing is so if you, now this is a quite bluish color question. If you, if I go to this map now, you will see this is a bit too blue. So maybe you want to, want to go to blue now and drag this down a bit. So as you can see now, it looks like that. So but if I it looks quite okay here, maybe a bit too much green. So it looks quite okay here. But if I go back to this map, it will look shit as fuck. So yeah, you have always have to play around with the settings and stuff so yeah if you want me to continue this series and if you found this helpful like the video please and yeah that's basically it bye